Hey guys, welcome to my channel Knowledge Life. Guys, today in this video, we'll be talking about the most important modification tools, chamfer and fillet. First, let's open a part. We'll just open a new part and uh, just define the unit and take a plane and start a sketch. I'll define the unit here. I'll be taking you font planes and uh, I'll make a basic sketch. You can see here I have taken the sketch here. So in this sketch we are going to use the fillet. So here you can see you have your options fillet and chamfer both. We'll start one by one. We'll be starting with the fillet. So click on the fillet. Actually though there is having lot of reason for giving fillet. Uh, the main thing is for stress concentrations and you can give the fillet in the sketch itself and you can give in the 3D model also. In 3D models there is a lot of types we'll see later. Now you can see here I want to create a fillet between these two lines. You can select the lines, this line and this line. Now you can see that fillet is generating. Cancel this. Instead of doing like this, uh, this fine you can select uh, like this. You can go with this. Okay, let it be. Will not cancel. Now you can see here what is happening. But it's not necessary to select the both the line one by one. You can directly click on this point also, the vertex point. Like I want to apply the fillet over here. So for that, look at here. I have click on this point. So directly the fillet is getting applied to here. You can see here even you have uh, you can go with this ok if you want or else I will cancel it first. You can see you have here two more option keep constraint and the dimension each fillet. Look at here if I uncheck this then also it will generate the dimension to this fillet because I am giving the fillet separately. So this is applicable when you are giving fillet multiple number of fillets at a time then you can go with this. See look at here first. Just click on the fillet tools and give the same fillet to this three corners so I can select it like this also which is very user friendly and easy. Now you can see here if I go with this ok what will happen it will give the dimension only in a single fillet. Now you can see here all the fillet is having same dimensions but dimension is representing only to this fillet. But if you want to give the dimension in all fillet so for that you have to go for other option. So click on this fillet. Now you can select here you can see the options. You can see here dimension each fillet. So select this all the corners and you can click on this dimension each fillet go with this ok now you can see it's coming dimension is coming on each and every fillet now you can see you have here one more options which is called keep constraint corner so what will happen I'll just go with this and I'll select it just click on this and click on this go with this ok now if you zoom in you will understand that it's this corner is also still there constant corner in the sense you can see here this is this area is representing as a constant corner but if you, you can see the difference I'll be giving a, one more separate fillet on other corner just click on this now I, I, I'll just uncheck this option and I'll be giving the fillet here just go with this ok now you can see here just See, there is no extension line. That's what I mean by keep constraint corner. Hope you have understood the fillet. Now we'll be moving into the chamfer. I'll just undo this with the fillet. Now I'll be going with the chamfer tools. Now you can see here we have your chamfer. So click on this. In chamfer, there is having two options. The first is angle distance, and second is distance distance. Now you can see here I'll be just going with the distance distance first. So same option, same way the selection method is same. You can select both the lines separately or else directly you can click on this angle itself. Now you can see as the equal distance is selected that's the reason it's taking by default value 10. So if you want to go with this both the side equal distance you can go with the equal option. Suppose I want to get one side 10 and other side 20. Let's see what happens. 
first we need to do the undo then i need to click on here now you see here in the same way just go with this okay and i want to go with this angle distance whenever we are going for this angle distance method you can see by default angle is 45 degree and the distance is 10 just click on this point you can see here it's taking the value like this just undo this and i want to give the value like 30 i want to give the value here 30 and i'll be taking this corner now you can see here how it is taking the fillet sorry chamfer so guys hope you have enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching the videos do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the more videos thanks for watching happy learning and have a nice day